now that we understand that the Batman movie and a lot of these things are right in our face signs, we should be able to see what this is. Now, that brings me to this. Um, I'm going to show you some, uh, some information that you'll find quite interesting, I think. Now, what we're looking at here is the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. Okay? And you're also looking at the New Orleans Arena, which is right beside it, a smaller thing. Now, this uh, this was built after the uh, um, after the hurricane that, that uh, Katrina that destroyed uh, Louisiana already once. Louisiana, of course, is familiar with disasters and manip manipulations that take place. Now, one thing you'll notice that's interesting about this site is one is that it is in fact an old graveyard. Okay this you can look it up this is built on an old graveyard remember the twin towers i showed you on the maps in the in, in uh, the previous video of this they were that the twin towers were built on an old graveyard so is the mercedes benz superdome remember i showed you it said liberty street right beside the uh right beside the uh twin towers it also says liberty street here and there's a church just out of view here actually as well this is what they plan to be one of their next strike spots. They are going to annihilate this thing. I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to go down. Are they going to exactly what they're going to do? I'm not sure. Okay. But let me show you some things. See what you think. Okay. If you're you're looking right here, you're looking at uh, looking at an old map of Gotham City, one of the original. Uh, old old maps where they had drawn out a uh, Gotham City, okay. Um, and uh, but if you take a look, you don't even see up here anywhere is where it talks about a uh, anything that resembles the current map. Now, if you come a little bit newer as to the maps that they've created, there actually is a Gotham City uh, stadium here located at this location, okay. And if you come a little bit further along, you'll notice that there's still one. Coming back here for a second, notice that it is a single circle. Okay? Single circle. Then come to this one here. Notice up here, single circle. That's the football stadium for Gotham City, right? Single circle. Come to the next map that's uh, even newer. This is an old cartoon one from the cartoon days when it was just Batman cartoons and uh, magazines only come to this one which is newer has the breakdown has uh, they called it tri corner back then okay they changed it to uh, um, name slipping my mind at the moment but they changed it to Hinkley South Hinkley of course after they pulled the Hinkley thing with and did the weapons ban that that false flag that that was they then uh, changed it from Hinkley because he was probably from that town you know, there ain't no telling. I mean, I haven't had a chance to look back into that. But uh, they changed it to South Hinkley from Tri Corners. And then and then they changed it, uh, of course, to Sandy Hook, that lower area that was down there. Now, if you look back up here at this newer map, this is one of the newest uh, Bat Batman maps. It has the stadium. But look what they've added. They added a little oval-shaped building, okay? Do you remember the oval shaped building? See it sitting there? No oval shaped building. No oval shaped building. No oval shaped building. Oval shaped building. Beside the Superdome. The round Superdome. There it is again. Okay. That is just another sign. This being a graveyard, they've matched the maps. It says Liberty beside it. Okay? You following me? Now let me show you some more evidence and some more, a lot more information, including a couple of videos. Let's take a look at this. Now here's another sign. This is on one of the maps also. Hang on, guys. Let me pause this. Wanting to move me forward here too quick. 
I'm using some new tools and I ain't got them down and they ain't perfect. I'm going to have to invest a few bucks sometime, but I haven't got there yet. Now, coming back to this though, this is, uh, see this goal post? Or rather, see this whole thing, right? See, this is a graveyard over here. This is a microscope. See it? Microscope. You know what a microscope stands for? That's Virginia Tech. That's why a lot of these places have the have the Virginia Way and Virginia Road also right close to them. This was Virginia Tech. This was the Aurora Batman Theater. It was about the movie. See the projector where they went in and shot everybody at the movie? This down here is likely Hoover Dam. This one at the bottom here is likely Hoover Dam. It's a side cut of a dam. It's turned up on its end as well. They're going to make it easy for you, but not easy that even somebody asleep can see. Okay. This over here probably represents Sandy Hook. This one right here, I'm not sure. It looks like it's a K on its back, or either a reverse K, or either a, maybe a, what do you call those things that they bang out, uh, like a, 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 what do you call it, a metal smith? No, what's the name I'm looking for? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. But this field gold being in here is a sign as well of their intentions when it comes related to a field gold. This circle is actually a park also in New York City. These lines match up to a park that's in Brooklyn as well. Okay. Which looks like it's strike zone three. Okay. But uh, this tells me, once again, just another sign. I've got some other shocking ones to show you, but let's take a look at this video. <laughs> see what you're seeing okay the football games going on there in the tunnels under the football game see it says SWAT there on the left this is Gordon he's going looking for Bain because he's gonna blow up the football stadium and uh, so they're they're going looking for him under the stadium and he blows it the whole thing caves in right now, here's another reason why that this that I believe, and you have to understand that we've all got different levels of research and what how we've what we feel and what we believe. But I know that this woman and her husband Jay Z are Illuminati freaks. Okay, these are the people who uh, Jay Z, as you may or may not know, is basically in control of a good portion of the entertainment industry when it comes to music, particularly a lot of rap music, those kinds of things in Hollywood okay so they're gonna put her down there to do the halftime show it's gonna be a big celebration and then after halftime uh, the big shebang is gonna go down I'm gonna go into it a little bit as to how they're gonna do that okay a couple things I want to point out though is is that they have they're gonna have more than one one hundred and twelve point five million viewers just in the US that was who watched it last year and the Super Bowl this year is going to be broadcast. The Super Bowl and the halftime show will be broadcast worldwide. It will be into the billion range as to the number of people that will be watching this. They do not normally broadcast the Super Bowl and halftime show worldwide. Okay, They normally restrict it for various reasons. This year, they're going all the way. Okay. Now, before I go to the before I go to the next slide, you may say, "Well, why would they blow up Beyonce?" Well, first off, they will sacrifice their own, but I suspect that Beyonce and, and these other people that will be there at the halftime show, they will be out of there by chopper or whatever way. They will be out of there in time. And I know this all sounds crazy, guys. Okay, this is not this is not the reality we're used to dealing with. Some more information on the uh, football stadium. It seats 73,208 people, okay, 3,100 of which were added at the 2011 renovations when they renovated after the hurricane, okay, 73,000 people, that's just people sitting in the stadium, 
you're going to have another number of thousands getting it up close to a hundred thousand just on the property and then you're going to have another hundred thousand in the in the city the reason why you're going to have another hundred thousand easy probably another two hundred thousand in the in the city on the island that is new orleans and i'll show you that island here in a second but they're going to have all these people there and why are all these people going to be there well the super bowl but guess what this year something they've never ever done guess what they did they you know new the uh, mardi gras they split it in half they put the super bowl in in the middle mardi gras is two weeks it always is they they split it into one week on each side of the super bowl they want as many people in town as they can possibly get they're going to kill as many people as they possibly can now here you are looking at New Orleans, okay? And you may think, well, how is that an island, okay? What we're talking about is impassable area. We're not just talking about just water, okay? If you if you look here at the, the different ones I have numbered, see number one over in the top left-hand side up there? Number one, that is a bridge. Right there where it says 10, that is a bridge. If you take that bridge out, there is no other way uh, to, to get through that area for, for main thoroughfare, okay? You can take that bridge out. Number two, which is in the center of your screen, upper center, that is another bridge, long span bridge. That is uh, one of the longest spanning bridges in the United States. You take that out, okay? Now, why would we think bridges? They might take them out. Well, they just showed them to us in the movie, showing that they were going to take bridges down. Have any bridges come down yet? Nope. I suspect that they will take bridges down here, and they will isolate this island. They'll take down number one, number two, number three in the upper right-hand corner, They'll take down number four down below, number five bridge, and number six bridge, and number seven. Okay. Now, once you take out those seven roads, you just got to blow up seven roads, seven bridges, seven roads, whatever. Once you blow those up, you have isolated, uh, basically isolated New Orleans with probably about 300 to 400,000 people in it because you're going to have the Super Bowl and Mardi Gras split on both sides of it. You're going to have all those people there. And you will have them all on a little island that's surrounded by water and swamp with alligators in it. Nowhere to run. Trapped like a rat. I'm concerned, too, that they may go ahead and, and uh, do something that one of their other cards said, which is Combined Disasters. It says you may combine two disasters on the same place.